Hey everybody, here today with the Coach's Corner. I want to talk about the topic of betrayal because I've gotten a lot of questions about how to get over feeling hurt by someone or wronged by someone. So I want to speak to that and give you some tips for how to deal with it and really how to get over it. So first, let's just like face it, betrayal kind of sucks. It's just one of those human experiences that can be so painful and hard to understand. It hurts when we feel lied to or when someone we thought we could trust shows us something different. When we feel betrayed or like our trust is broken, it's natural to want to hang on to the anger, resentment, blame, and how could she or how could he or I can't believe this thoughts. But that keeps us in victim consciousness and only perpetuates our suffering. So there is a way out of the suffering. There is a way to bring lightness to this seemingly heavy experience. So I'm offering you this step-by-step process to move through betrayal. But before I go into the steps, you got to be willing to let it go. So I ask you, are you willing to let it go? Are you willing to put aside needing to be right and feeling like a victim so that you can be free? Yes? All right, let's go through the steps. Step one, just feel it. Yes, you got to just feel your feelings around it. Betrayal or violated trust can be incredibly jolting. In a sense, it can feel traumatic because it catches us totally off guard and threatens the false sense of security we project on others. Feel your sadness or anger, whatever you're feeling. Cry, scream, journal, hit a pillow. Talk to friends who will just listen and hold that loving space rather than engaging in bad-mouthing or throwing a pity party for yourself. Reach out to a coach or a counselor. Do not call or be feeling your feelings with the person you felt betrayed you. That's not the right source to go to. So find a safe space and way to feel your feelings. If you need help with that, refer to the emotional section of the treatment plan of expectation hangover. Step two, take action and deal with physical world reality issues if applicable. Often in the case of betrayal, there are things you need to clean up. If you've been cheated on, get tested. If you require legal advice, consult a lawyer. Do what you need to do to care for your basic self needs. This is important because when trust issues are up, the little one inside of you needs to see you taking care of yourself. You need to be able to trust yourself. So being proactive creates feelings of peace of mind and self-trust. Step three, look for the lessons. Challenges are how we learn. Sure, they don't feel so hot, but they always turn up the heat in terms of our growth. Be radically courageous through your willingness to see your role in the situation. On the flip side, sometimes there isn't a big lesson reflected back about ourselves. We can be part of other people's lessons and on some level agree to serve them in terms of our participation. Our learning in it is simply how we are with ourselves through the process, not taking it personally. And there's always an opportunity to practice being more compassionate with yourself. Step four, move to understanding. The person was truly doing the best they could. I know you may disagree and argue against that truth, but trust me when I say they were doing the best they could with their own inner resources. Everybody's on a different journey, learning different lessons. You don't have to like it or agree with someone's actions or choices to forgive them. Forgiveness of yourself is also extremely important. When betrayed, we often feel duped or stupid or like a fool. So forgive yourself and know you were doing the best you could. Step five, give them to the universe. When feeling betrayed, our righteous, I'll show them voice comes up. We fantasize over worst case scenarios that could happen to them that will be redemptive. Resist this temptation because it only creates negative energy inside of you. Their lessons are between them and their higher power and are none of your business. And finally, step six, bless them. Understand their actions that led to betrayal come from a pain place. Your perceived betrayer is suffering too. Seeing them from an elevated and compassionate perspective moves you out of fear and back into love. Bless them and set them free. When the obsessive train leaves the station in your head, imagine that person, bless them, and then redirect thoughts towards your own blessings. Most importantly, do not close down your heart. I repeat, Do not close down your heart. Keep that sweet heart of yours open. Choose forgiveness over protection. Please do not form or perpetuate a limiting belief that you can't trust people. Use this experience of betrayal as a reminder to come back to the ultimate source of trust. Love, your higher power, and your relationship with yourself. 
sending you so much light if you're dealing with this, so much compassion. And just remember, there is freedom on the other side of this. Talk to you soon. <laughs>